There is no political reward in the United States right now for simply speaking the truth. And there is some growing concern among Democrats over President Biden's polling numbers. Close to 70 percent of Democrats want somebody else to run for president. This is not a normal number for an incumbent. So I respect President Biden, but he's going to lose to Donald Trump. And that's the truth. I will not sit still. I will not be quiet in the face of numbers that are so clearly saying that we're going to be facing an emergency next November. At least you are honest and you're saying, no, I'm going to do it. President Biden is facing a primary challenge from a sitting congressman, Dean Phillips of Minnesota. I think it takes courage to throw your hat in the ring. I woke up the morning after the 2016 election. My daughters were in tears and I sat at the breakfast table and I promised them that I would do something. And I did. Ran for Congress. I flipped a district blue that had been in Republican hands for 60 years. But in your last race, you won by double digits because people like you, <laughs> like a reasonable man, you get things done. Lost my dad in Vietnam when I was six months old. That's how my life began. He was killed just days after the moon landing in 1969. And I think about the fact that he got to know America at its very best at a time fighting a war that reflected some of our very worst. My mom met and remarried a remarkable man, Eddie Phillips, who adopted me and brought me into an extraordinary family. And I've lived on both sides of advantage. Ran our family business, built Belvedere Vodka, sold it to LBMH. He went on to help build Talenti Gelato into a top-selling gelato brand. How are things going in the country today? Uh, badly. It's staggering how desperate people are right now. And instead of telling them everything's okay, I think it's time we listen and do something about it. People can't afford their lives. Things that were affordable are no longer. Mortgage rates are going up. Fuel is too expensive. Food is too expensive. People can't afford childcare. And I'm on a mission now to do two things, to become president of the United States, to change this and incredibly destructive system right now. And I'm also now on a mission to expose the truth about what is happening in our politics. The Florida Democratic Party, which is unbelievable I'm even saying these words, decided they would not have a presidential primary. They just said Joe Biden's the winner. The destruction of democracy is not unique to the right. It is happening in front of our eyes right here in your state and it's happening in Florida right now. It's time for change. It's time for a new generation. We're going to bring joy and hope and optimism back to a country that really needs it. Stop fighting each other and start fighting for each other. That's my agenda. You don't back away from each other as Americans. If you're a patriot, you come together. And that's what this campaign is about. I'm running for president to do just that. And we're going to win. We're going to win.